So we're looking for the speed of the plane. So first step, just like in dynamics, free body diagram. And so we can draw the plane. Let's say we'll draw it from the front here. All right. And so we have the force of gravity. And we also, uh, if it's made with some lift in its wings, keeping it horizontal, we can say the force of the lift. And then we have the string. So we'll call this the applied force. Um, and that's the pull from the girl and the string. Um, and so that's the direction that this thing will be accelerating. It's pulling it uh, in a circle like that. So uh, next step, F net equals MA. Again, just like any dynamics problem, free body diagram, check. Uh, F net equals MA or Newton's second law, check. Now, um, where we can go with this is we can say that the, if we're, if we're looking only horizontally, then we could say that the only force acting is FA. And then we have the mass of the plane, and then we have the acceleration. Now, it's not accelerating up or down, it's accelerating because it's being pulled in a curve. So we have centripetal acceleration happening in this situation. So the applied force is causing this centripetal acceleration or the constant turning of this plane. So let's carry on with this, is we can say FA equals M, and in place of AC, we can stop and we're interested in the speed of the plane. And so usually we stop here and we say, uh, what are we gonna replace this ex centripetal acceleration with? And it could be the V squared over R, or it could be the um, one with the period in place. And with this one, V squared over R suits our needs best as we're looking for the speed of the plane. Um, had they asked what would be the period or how long would it take to go for one loop, then we would go with the alternative version of that. So V squared over R, um, moving forward with that, and we can rearrange, and to rearrange this um, for the velocity, um, you can show a couple steps in your work. We'll just kind of jump right to here and plug in some numbers. So the applied force, we're told, is 50 newtons. The radius there is 2 meters. The mass is 2 kilograms. And we can run that through the calculator, and we actually can see that the 2 and the 2 cancel out, so basically just the square root of the 50. And we come up with 7.07 .07 meters per second. And so for a better final answer, um, be, you know, considering sig figs, let's call this 7.1 meters per second. Now it says speed, so we don't necessarily have to show any direction when we're asked for speed. If we were asked for velocity, then we would have to, of course, include a direction. Um, and if we were asked for velocity, we could talk about the direction here. It's good to talk about this because you may have a hard time thinking about, well, what would I say for direction? Uh, in this case, you could just say tangent to the circle. So in other words, at any point in time, the velocity is tangent to the path that it's going around that circle in. So at this point here, this would be our velocity or our speed at that point, velocity if we're considering direction. So anyways, we're done with that problem.